Well, hello, hello. Let's see, we are ready to start in a few minutes.
Hello, Ada. How are you? Oops. Ah, let's go on. Come on, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Heidi. How are you? A little bit tired. <laughs> oh, really? Mm hmm. A long day at work? Yeah. I can understand that. Likewise, you know, today was a, a long day. And tell me, what time did you finish working today? Sorry? What time did you finish working tonight, today? I've just got home. Oh, for real? Yeah. Really? So From you finished pretty really late? Yeah, I know. And do you work the uh, from Monday to Saturday or from Monday to Friday? I work one Saturday, yes, and the uh, one no. Oh, every other Saturday. You say it like this: I work every other Saturday. Other, mm, really? Every other. Yeah, when you say every other, you are saying every other. Mm. One yes, one no. Like okay. I say, oh look, I shave. I have to shave every other day. That mm -hmm. means I shave today, not tomorrow. Mm. Day after tomorrow, yes. Okay. Okay. So you tell me, oh, I work Saturdays every other week. Every, every other week. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So I work every it? other week. On Saturdays. Saturdays every, every other week. Perfect. That's the way. Okay. Excellent. Oh, the, well, that's nice because I mean you have you have time to 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 do your stuff. Yeah, I need time to sleep. <laughs> to sleep? Why, yeah. man? Nah, don't waste time sleeping. <laughs> it's that I wake up every day at five thirty or six. And we end up at 10. Oh, come and on. Sometimes, hey. sometimes I can't sleep. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Usually no, here in, in my house, we go to sleep around, let's see, around 12.30, 12, 12 12.30, midnight, every day. And we are up around 5.30. Very sometimes, sometimes I go to sleep around one. Really? Yeah. The, yeah. The thing is this: I am a, I am a night owl. Night a night owl. owl. <laughs> trasnochador. Mm -hmm. That means trasnochador. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, for me, I mean, I like. I like staying up late. Always have. I have always liked it. I get a little bit sleepy around 10 sometimes. But the problem is if I go to sleep at that time, around 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning, I am awake and I cannot go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Same happens to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes I get insomnia and then. That's a whole different story. I mean, mm. there's no way out of it. But, you know, I try to keep busy. Sometimes when I got free time and I cannot sleep, I read or I watch TV. Something just to pass the time, you know? Mm -hmm. 
They say what when you, you don't, when you, when you can't sleep, you have to pray. Well, nah, it doesn't work for me. And you, and you get sleepy. Sometimes it, it works for me, sometimes. No, for me it doesn't work. The problem is this. There was a time when I was taking pills for sleeping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for a while I was like taking popping pills so I could sleep, but that's not good either. Mm -hmm. Because, because you can get, get used to it. Yeah, you get dependent. Mm -hmm. And that's not good for nobody. Mm -hmm. Well, Heidi, nice talking to you. A pleasure. You too, teacher. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh -huh. Well, there is Susana. Hello, Susana. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, you home, you driving? I never know when you are home. Are you working? <laughs> No, teacher, I, I, I have my homework. <laughs> oh, you're doing your homework. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. That's nice. Okay, finish it. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Susanna. Nice having you here. Welcome. Thanks. Ada, hello, Ada. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. And I not at home, and my daily is uh, keep the daily. Only see four patients of the clinic. And patient, 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 patient. Uh, I can take a two, <laughs> two cup coffee. It's a relaxing. Uh, I have an early the lunch. Uh, in the two, afternoon, you uh, stressing with the traffic. Two cups, two cups of coffee. Yes, only that's two teacher. That's After enough for it, you. Oh, yes. That's enough. Two yes. men. I will be crazy. <laughs> I take, I take around seven. Mm. I uh, drink the, around seven in the day. Teacher, in the after is around the 10 cup coffee. Okay, that's cool. That's acceptable. <laughs> and the, in the afternoon, you the stress in the traffic. I get at home, uh, complete the, with the sanitis, sanitation. Yeah, for sanitizing. COVID. Sanitation yeah. for COVID. And for always the taking care of my family. Okay, yeah, yeah, we must. It's, I mean, that's mandatory, that's necessary all the time, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Henry, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm fine, what about you today? Tonight, um, I'm sorry. You know, I'm just fine, just fine. Same you old story me? as usual. Yeah, I can listen to you. Can you listen to me? Oops. Guess we have connection problems with him. We will get back to you later, Henry. Don't worry. Marcos. Hello, Marcos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Uh, a little bit tired. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I am um, um, doing home, homework from my college, my and school, doing, uh, the school or rent yes, to the university. Oh. Um, what you're, you're studying at the university, right? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, you could, you could say college, uh, but it's better if you say university. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, well, um, 
it is complicated to me handle with this um, being in this program and doing um, the task for for my university. Uh, but mm -hmm. with the pass of the time, I guess it will be more easy to me to to handle the two situations. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just get need to get used to it and actually organize it. Uh, and, you know, with a little bit of patience and organizing, you can make it. Okay. Well, thank you, mister. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. See you. Let's see. Um, Jose, Jose Rivas, hello, how are you? Doing great. Thanks for asking. What about you? I'm just fine, I'm just you? fine. You know, okay. same old story as usual. <laughs> working, working, and working. So you don't have anything else to do, right? <laughs> well, no, actually I am studying at the university. So sometimes I am also studying. Oh, really? So basically, so you have your day uh, really busy, right? Oh, <laughs> you don't know the half of it. I mean, I, I teach in the morning, I teach in the afternoon. Sometimes when I arrive home, I teach another class online, then I get to prepare classes. Then I connect to my to my regular classes at the university. And then I connect to teach this class. And when I finish this class, I need to read material from the university, check out activities from this class, prepare material for some other classes. That's from Monday to Friday. Uh, let's see, Saturdays, I teach a class in the morning. I receive a class also from the university at noon. Then I teach another class in the afternoon. I usually have meetings Saturday around four. So Saturday is the day that I finish early. I finish around six or seven p.m. I'm always busy. Yeah, there are a lot of tasks that you do. Yeah, but you get used to it. I mean, yep. it's for, uh, for me right now, it's routine. Yeah, so it's the daily routine. Yeah, I mean, and remember when you get a routine, a daily routine, I mean, sorry, you get used to it and it becomes normal. Mm -hmm. So what about you? How's your daily routine? Um, well, so I usually <laughs> get up so around 9 a.m. So because I finish uh, my work, so around <clears throat> 11 but I fall asleep around 12 or so I guess so and then so in the morning so I had to connect one hour for my job and then so in I take my my lunch at noon so uh, once I take my lunch so I had to prepare uh, all the tools so in order to work again so from 1 to 11 p.m. So it's kind of busy too, because actually yeah. around 14 uh, minutes ago, I, I log out. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were busy, pretty busy. Yeah. Kind of. Oh. So I just, my, my day off, so it's just Sunday and Monday. So. Well, the well, well, good thing is that Good thing is that you got time for here for us. Yep. That's excellent. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. And welcome.
let's see. Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Good evening. Where are you? Traveling still? Walking. Walking to my house. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me know when you get to your house so we can talk, okay? Okay, thank you. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Jose Wilfredo. Hello, teacher, how are you? So far, it's a good. Just fine. So I'm fine. really sorry. I was making a good conversation on mute. Yeah, that usually happens. You know, once in a while it happens to air and you. So, how are yeah. you? How's everything? Uh, so far, so good, teacher. Today, I did uh, some courses because I need to know a lot of process to uh, perform a new. Uh, assignation. Okay. So, uh -huh. so it was really easy. Okay, and no problem, everything peachy? Yeah, everything good. And no, because those courses are uh, like videos that I have to watch, then I have to make one assessment. And that's it, but it was really easy. Yeah, you know, I don't know why, perhaps it's me, but those type of like trainings, I don't like them when you just get to watch a video and and start from there. It's good because you can go back as many times as you want. Yeah, it's but, me either, teacher, but I don't know why they made that, uh, that method to teach. Yeah, but for me, nothing substitute the face-to-face -face interaction. Yeah, that's right. Because if we like a student, we can uh, ask something that maybe you don't yeah. understand. Yeah, you, yeah. you can inquire about anything. And besides that, I don't know, in my case, in my personal case, mm -hmm. if I'm watching just a video, man, I, I get bored. <laughs> I drift. I drift. Yeah. You know? I know, my mind goes away from it. Whereas yeah. if I have a person in front of me, I know that I need to be like paying attention. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. But thanks God, everything good. Well, that's great. So glad to hear you. Yeah. Welcome to the class, mister. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Hey, Amber, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, just fine. What about you? How's everything? How are you doing? Everything's okay. Uh, my day was very quiet because I don't have a lot of work to do. I didn't. I didn't. Sorry. I didn't have uh, a lot of work. Slow to days. Do. Slow days, right? Yes. Yes. But oh. I. I hope it will be better than today, tomorrow. Yeah, that's, that's the idea. I mean, that's the goal for the next day to be better than the other. And you still got time. You told me that you reach your, you already reached your goal, your monthly goal, right? So, I mean, there's not that much pressure. Yes, uh, I need to more sales. Well, uh, extra bonus, right? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, that's always good. That's always good. Yes, teacher. What about you? I mean, BC is suffering with this weather. I mean, it's crazy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, this weather is killing me during the day. I mean, right now it's here yes. where I live, it's very hot. Yesterday, the rain was. Very strong. It, yeah, it helped a lot. It helped yes. with the weather, but still, you know, and the day was like pretty humid. Mm. Hey, just, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna be complaining not every day because they are hot. Yeah, tell me. 
sorry, how do you say aquí está como pringando, no sé cómo se llama, cuando es como... Oh, a drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle. Yeah, drizzle. You have to say, you have to tell me there's a drizzle right now. Can you Sorry, see that can you repeat? some chat? Yes. I already texted. Okay, you have to say uh, there's a small drizzle. There's a small drizzle. Yeah, drizzle. Yes. Okay, let me see something because there's another expression. Hold on, just give me a second, just give me a second. When I, when I yeah. say a cozy day is like a nublado, right? Cloudy, cloudy. Cloudy, ah, okay. Okay. Cloudy. Cloudy is no lado. Okay. Okay. Uh, you also have um, hmm. there's another word to express this that is missile. Missile. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like a drizzle, drizzle or it's different. You can't use missile is more British than drizzle. And, uh. Uh, the difference is just in the in the size of the raindrops. Believe me, that's the only difference, the size of the drain, raindrops. But uh, now, okay, there was uh, 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 another word that you were telling me, nublado, you told me, right? Yes, but eh, you talked about remember. clouds. Yes, eh. de nubes o neblina. Es que recuerdo que en, el, en otra clase de inglés me mencionaron esa frase de cozy day. No recuerdo si era por nublado o por neblina que la mencionaban. Cozy. Yes. No. Cloudy. Cloudy is uh, neblina. Cozy, I, I hear it too. Como Which one? Cozy. Cozy. In a song, I, I hear it. Fossi. Fossi. Would you mind spelling mm -hmm. it for me? Yes, uh, it's Fossi. C O. Oh. Why? Now I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get what you. <sighs> Fossi. Fossi. Oh, but this is. Something different. I mean, yeah, when you talk about policy, Diffuse, uh, so that's yes, yeah, something that we cannot see clear. I guess like, teacher, I guess that for that uh, word we can say blurry, right? Blurry. Yeah. I'm sorry? Blurry. Blurry, yeah. Uh -huh. The same as fuzzy. Yeah, yeah, but we are talking here about, about the weather, like uh, when it's with a lot of uh we have fog, cozy, a cozy day. Ah, oh. now we are talking about something different. Okay. Fog is Cos neblina. Yeah, right. fog is neblina. Cozy, cozy amber is like, uh, mm -hmm. imagine that you have your house. Uh, your house is a place where 
everybody who gets there feels comfortable, relaxed, okay? If your house is like that, we say that your house is cozy. That means uh, acogedor. That's the exact um, meaning of that word. That's cozy, acogedor. But okay. cozy day, to be honest with you, I have never, never, ever heard it. Okay, teacher. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I have never heard it, not like that. I remember yeah, when... one class in another academy, uh, the coach uh, told us about weather and she she told us cause uh, this, uh, how do you say phrase? Yeah, phrase. Phrase. This phrase, cause day. And I remember she told us uh, the hizo una referencia a días nublados, neblina, frío, algo así. Tenía la duda. Yeah, the only the only way I could use it like that is because I mean when you talk about cozy, you are talking about something that is. Oh. The problem is that we are talking about a concept that is kind of complex. I'm sorry, guys, I will see, switch into Spanish just for a second. Okay, la palabra cozy también utilizamos para referirnos a algo que es cálido, pero cálido de calientito, como por ejemplo, eh, tenemos aquella frazada que usamos para los días de frío, ¿verdad? Que a veces con una taza de chocolate o de café, nos ponemos frente a la tele. La cobija del frazadita. tigre. Okay, that one's cozy. That's a cozy blanket, okay? In that situation, when you are using cozy, you are talking about something that is warm and comfortable. Both things must be warm and comfortable, okay? Es cálido y cómodo. That's when you use cozy. But for describing a day, hmm, I mean, it's not that common. to be honest with you, but it's quite interesting. Thank you very much, Amber. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, well, welcome all of you, but uh, I'm sorry, I need to jump into another activity and I need to get the attendance, so sorry, guys. I'm gonna get it right now. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Y Aldiana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Thank you. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. I could have saw. Oh, there he is. 
Okay, guys, let's see. Okay. Thank you, Fernando. Appreciate it. No problem. Got you. Okay, guys. Well, today we are going to work a little bit on the the manual. We have a couple of activities there. I am very, very thankful for your responsibility with the homework. Uh, I've been checking all of them as far as I could. And the ones who got sent today right in the class, I mean, I'm going to check them later. Just be patient with me. Let's see what else. Uh, I also have a PowerPoint presentation for us because we are going to work with a topic that is very interesting. And for some of you, it's going to be new. For some others, the ones who were with me before, I, I know for sure that it's not new, but we are going to work with uh, reported speech. And that's very simple. Don't worry. It's something that we are going to really, really enjoy. So let's see, before we move on, let me just pick something here. Stephanie Alejandra Salmeron Ibarra. Say present, please. Present teacher, sorry, sorry. Um, oh, nice. Guess. A different picture, cool. No more taxes, that's nice. Okay, let's continue. Let me see, guys, where was I? Uh, PPT, okay, yeah. We're gonna work on that, but it's gonna be fun. Don't worry, don't worry, it's gonna be easy. We're going to start right now in your manuals in page number 11. So let me share with you the first activity that we are gonna do together right there, okay? So I will need your participation on this activity. Okay, guys, here, exercise three says, label the descriptions with the correct types of e-commerce. We got consumer to consumer, business to business, consumer to business, and business to consumer. So we got them like code, like in C to C, B to B, C to B, and B to C, okay? Now, number one, it refers to business that is conducted between companies rather than between a company and individual consumers. Okay, let's see. It refers to business that is conducted between companies rather than between a company and individual consumers. Let's see, Heidi, what do you think? Which one is it? Business to business. Okay, Heidi, thank you. Man, this lady is on fire tonight. B to B, perfect, Heidi, thank you. Now let's see, transactions conducted direct, directly between a company and consumers who are the end users of its products or services. Okay, let's see who's gonna help me with this. Let me just get this, I always need to check out what do i have um hmm. let's see me to see teacher thank you ada yes it's b to c b to c perfect thank you very much now let's see iliana please Real number three, and tell me which one is it. Okay, number three, it is a business model that facilitates an environment, usually online, where customers can trade with each other. I think is C to C, consumer to consumer. Okay, perfect. You got C to C. Oops, my bad. C to C, thank you very much, Eliana. You're welcome. Now, the last one, well, we already know that the last one in this case is C to B, right? Is the only one left, C to B. Consumer to business. Now let's see, Maria Alejandra, read it for me, please. Number four. Okay. <clears throat> 
It is when a large number of individuals make their service or product available to purchase from companies. Kim, precise, precise. Precisely, precisely. You can say it both ways. These types of services or products. Seeking, seeking. Seeking. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, guys, before we move on, let me do, do just little things here. So we don't have no more problem with this. This happens. Just a second, please, please, please. Be patient, guys. Okay. I just sent you the, the, the result of the exercise because that exercise appears in the platform. So you're gonna use that info. Okay, now let's continue, let's continue. Perfect, okay, now, how often do you purchase it items online? What do you have to be careful about while purchasing online? Now, this, the second question, I need you to please focus on this question. I will send you to groups just for two minutes, okay? I will send you for working in groups no, for three minutes, I'm sorry. And I need you to tell me at least two, two things that we have to be careful when we are buying stuff online, okay? So I am creating the groups right in this moment. Groups are created, guys, please jump in. Three minutes from now.
some shoes and I put a dress and and I was afraid that it wouldn't fix me, it wouldn't fit to me, but it did. It did, so now I, I could do it again, but it's not, it's, uh, it's not something that I like to do. And about the other question, what do you have to be careful about while purchasing online? I guess you have to be careful to purchase on safety places. So your information, your card's information is not going to be shared, I guess. Maybe because I have seen so many cases I think yeah. I agree with you because when you are buying in um, a website, maybe um, the page is administrator, administrada, no sé, by other company. So it's complex because uh, you need to share your personal information and Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, hello, Eliana, how are you? Hello, fine, fine. Tell me, what do you have to be careful about while purchasing online? Well, I think that one of the most important uh, things uh, when I buy uh, things online is uh, the information I I give, yeah. Okay. Like my credit card information, because I think that that information sensible. Sensitive. Yeah, that kind of information is it's very sensitive. Yep. So I think that one of the most important uh, things that I I have to be careful it's the the information I give about my credit card. Okay. Perfect. Okay. You know, guys. Uh, by the way, Liana, you you mentioned something very interesting. And I'll tell you why. You know, we got the word sensible. Okay. okay. You know that word? Sensible. No, I never heard it. Sensible. What does it sound? Well, sensible means, uh, in English, means uh, sensato. Oh. Whereas sensitive means sensible. The other way around for us, you see, it's yeah. it's something kind of curious. It's kind of tricky. 
Yeah, it is. Words. Yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. Actually, you know, there's a, there's a special group of words and they got a particular name, but don't worry, we are not going to work on that. Just the curiosity, something curious. Thank no, you, Elena. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> okay, Jose, Jose Wilfredo, you look like you like to buy stuff online. Tell me, I want to buy stuff. Tell me, what do I have to be careful about while buying stuff? Okay, teacher, I be careful when I buy online, maybe when I access my credit card information, because I have one a credit card that is just for you. And isn't with the Banco Cuscatlan. Oh, okay. it's with the Banco Agricola. <laughs> okay, Agricola Bank. yeah. Yeah, yeah, the competence says, hey, says hey. Yeah, don't good. worry, she, she's taking note of your name <laughs> to say with prayer. <laughs> but I, when I didn't have that, that card, that credit card, I had been carefully uh, submitted my information because I try to, to buy with the official site of the stores. Okay. And what about PayPal? And, Couldn't you use PayPal for that? Mm, yeah, but not all the, the online stores uh, use a PayPal. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's so right. you have to, yeah, you have to buy with a credit card, Visa or a MasterCard. Yeah, and the, the problem with PayPal is that in some countries they ask you, they they charge you extra, right? Yeah, that's right. They charge for a fee just for use it. Yeah, they they charge you a fee, and in some countries you cannot change your money. That's yeah, a problem. That's right. Like here? Yeah, we cannot use it here for that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. believe me, it's a problem when you are charging someone and they pay you with PayPal, man, you have to look for somebody who can help you in another country so they in can the send US. it to you. Yeah. It's a problem. It's always yeah. a problem. I have yeah. had that situation a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> what you mean. Well, thank you, Jose Wilfredo. Nice You're advice. Welcome. Okay. Now let's see, I still got time for one. Let's see, let's see who else, who else, who else. Um, hmm. Roxana, tell me, do you buy, do you buy stuff online? Mm, not usually, to be honest, I prefer, uh, if I um, order something in, in a website, I prefer pay cash. Okay. But I always, when I need to buy something in online, I do the same, like Jose Wilfred, because I have a, I have a three credit card, but I usually use just one, because I paid a seguro. How do you say seguro? The insure? insurance. 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 Come on, Roxana. <laughs> You, insurance. Come on. What's your company do? Insurance company. Ah, yeah. You work for an insurance. <laughs> insurance. Insurance company. Yes, insurance. So I usually, when I need to pay something online, I use a unique credit card for that. And okay. in the other, I just... Uh, do transaction in basic transaction, you know, in a supermarket, in a restaurant or something like that. But to be honest, I prefer pay physical or cash. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys, let's continue because we got more for today. Let's see. Hmm. Let me just check on a bit of something here.
sorry, 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 thanks. Let me continue. Okay, right now we are gonna go back to the manual, but, but we are gonna work in the conversation that appears in page number 12, okay? Now, what are we going to do? Describe tips to apply when shopping online, online, online. Look, assisted in Seoul about his plans to open an e-store to sell his handicaps. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. Okay, and the conversation goes as follows. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is this new laptop for only 199. I call a store and it is 900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offered protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. I repeat. Okay, just a second before I forget something. And here we go. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it, and there is this new laptop for only $199. I called the store, and it is $900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, guys. Now you're going to go and practice working in groups. But before we do that, let me also share with you the image from the conversation so you can have it. Remember, it's in your manual. So you have this info already there so you can just get it and practice it. Okay, guys, the image is sent. Now let me get them groups ready for you. Okay, groups are created. Let me see. Sorry, that, that was a little mistake here. Okay. Please, you will have four minutes to practice. Jump in, please. Hello, mister. Nobody with you here? No, sir. Oh, there's Francisco. Francisco just arrived. Oh, okay. Hello, Francisco. 
Hello, teacher. You're working? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, oh, no, you're in the morning, right? Yes, yes, in the morning, teacher. Uh, in this moment, I am ready, teacher. Okay, here's Jose waiting for you. Okay, teacher, thank you. Check it out. And there is this new laptop for only $199. Sorry, Roxana. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. You sell check it, right? Check it. Check at it. What is it? What is it? What is it? You are this. Sorry? Mm -hmm. In the second line. A friend yeah, said I checked. He found checked. I checked. Remember, ED after K sounds as a T, Roxana. Yes, but we have a it at the end. We checked it. Checked it. Check, check it. What? Checked it. Checked it. Yes, I got checked it. Checked it. Okay. So I checked it. And okay. there is and there is this new laptop for only one hundred and ninety nine. New laptop for only one for only one hundred and ninety-nine dollars. I call the store and it is nine hundred there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. What sounds sus suspicious? Let me take sounds. a good look. Sounds. Sounds. Okay. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend yeah, say you have. Okay. Sorry. A friend, <laughs> no, no. a friend say you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol on the secure. Uh, on the, secure. Oh, there you go. Me perdí. <laughs> secure. Said, Rebecca. This the, the site is secure. You have to look up for a small public symbol you better get a credit card ha huh? okay. you know believe this a friend say he bought this excellent deal online i check it it are there a new laptop for only 199 dollars or call a store and it is a nine hundred. There, I will define it. Get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That's.
Let's bring everybody so we can continue. Roxana, so going to the gym. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher, I left alone to, no sé con quién estaba. Ramón. Come on, Roxana. No sé. Lo dejé solo. <laughs> no my fault. No my fault. Yes. It's your fault. Oh, it was Ramon. Ramon was your partner. I will tell him that you said, oh, I don't want to be with him anymore. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Everybody's here. Well, 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 well. Um. Okay, dogs. Jose, Wilfredo, and Marcos. Marcos, you'll start. Okay. Hank, you won't believe this. You won't believe this. A friend say he bought this excellent deal online. I check it and there is a new laptop for only $199. I call a store and it's $900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the at that web page before you enter your credit your car number in there. Why? Hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look for look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experimentation on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. The debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, perfect. Jose Wilfredo, identity. 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 Yep. Marcos, in the first line, a friend said, said. Uh, yeah, like uh, like when you want to drink water. Okay. Oh, yeah. Said. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, oh yeah, Ramon and Roxana. You know Ramon, Roxana left you in the group. I know. Okay. Okay. Let's see, mm. Ramon. You are going to start. Okay. Hank, you won't believe it. Will you won't believe this? A friend say, say he bought this excellent said he bought this excellent deal online. I take it. And there is the new laptop for only 199. I call the store and it is 900 there. I will call, no, I will definitely get it online but i will use my debit card wait a second that sounds suspicious let me take a good let let pardon let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there Okay, okay. Why hurry up? Or offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look you have to look up for a small padlock symbols in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experiment mentioned on TV that credit card offered prote protection for identity. Tift, 
that debit card don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay. Roxana, identity. 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 Yep. And okay, thank you. Ramon. Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. Sorry, sorry. Uh, in the second line, I checked it. I checked it. I checked it. I checked it. Remember, when you got ED after K, si tenemos ED después de K, it sounds as a T. El sonido de una T. Okay, don't forget that, please. Check. Check. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Ada and Jacqueline. Ada, you'll start. Okay. Uh, you won't believe this. I friend, I friend said the about this excellent deal online. I checked this and there is this new laptop for only uh, 100, $199. dollars. I call it a store and it is at $900 there. I will definitely get it online. But it will use it debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the at that what web page. Sorry. Before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up. Order off or their offer will be gone before we we don't we don't we know we, we know don't it. need we know it. We know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look at, look up for a small part of symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on, on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity. Identity theft that credit that debit cards done. So you better use a credit card. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Next one. Nicholas and Susanna. Susanna, you are going to start. How you won't believe this? Our friend say he bought the excellent deal online. I check it and there is this new laptop for only 199 or call it a store and it's the night wonder there. I will definitely get in online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web page before. You enter your car number in there. Why? Hurry up. Of the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mention it on TV that credit cards offer offer a protection from identify identity identify that identity theft, identity theft that debit card don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, thank you. Just give me a second, guys. Now let's see next one. Sorry, guys. Heidi and Stephanie. Stephanie, you'll start. Okay. 
Hank, you won't believe this. A friend say a friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked I checked it <laughs> and there is there is this new laptop for only $199. I call a store and it's and it and it is nine hundred there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look out for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, wow. Very good, very well done, guys. Henry and Frank. Okay, Henry, you'll start. Okay. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he's bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is this new laptop for only $199. I call a store and it is $900 there. I will, I definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Expert mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection for identity thief that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, guys, very well done. All right, just one little thing, Frank. Identity, identity. identity. You can say identity. identity or you can say identity, but not identity, identity, okay? Okay. Identity. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Now, Francisco and Jose. Francisco, you'll start. Jose Rivas. Thank you, teacher. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said about this extended deal online. I check it, it and there is the new laptop for only 100 $99. I call the store and it is $900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. What I, well, sorry, what a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a, a good look at the web page before you enter your car number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. Okay, a friend said, you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock a symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Expert mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection uh, from identity theft that debit cards don't, so you better use a credit card. Okay, perfect, thank you. Just one little thing here. Uh, 
Francisco. You said, let me see. But I don't remember who said it. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it was you, Francisco. This, uh, when we get this word, this is the article, the indefinite article, the, the, da, or the. If this one comes before a vowel sound, in this case, we got this vowel. The pronunciation of this is D. Okay, the offer. Okay, teacher. In this case here, if you look here, uh, you have to make sure that the side, in this case, it is preceding a consonant sound. So in this case, the pronunciation is the or the. Remember, the before a vowel sound, the or the before a consonant sound. Is it clear? Yes, teacher, thank you. No, thanks to you. Okay, let's continue. Let's see, Ileana, your turn. You and Rebecca, Rebecca, you start. Okay. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is this new laptop for only 199. I called the store and it is 900 too. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at, at that webpage before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity theft, that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Perfect. Ileana, just a little thing. In, okay. in your first paragraph, right at the end, you said your not your car number in there. In, in there. this case, the intonation must be in there. In there, okay. In there, okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Amber and Maria Alejandra. Maria Alejandra, you start. You won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is the new laptop for only 199. I go a store and it is 900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look, look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mean Mention it on TV that credit cards offered protection from identified theft that debit cards don't so don't. So you better use credit card. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Hold on.
Okay, thank you guys. Just I wanted just to check something that I also want to, to point out to you. And it's something again kind of tricky. Let me show you this. Okay, here. In here you can see that we have this word. Let's see, how do we pronounce this? Address, address, bar. Okay, when it is used as a noun, it means uh, direction, okay? Because you use it to refer to a location, okay? Or the particulars of a place. But that word is also a verb, okay? When we use it as a verb, uh, it refers to, to speak to a person, okay? Exactly that, to speak to a person, dirigirse a alguien, okay? Like, uh, uh, Nicolás addressed an audience for the water problem in their community. Nicolás addressed the, the inhabitants of a town regarding to the new project they are implementing, dirigirse a, okay? So remember, that word gets, gets two meanings. As a noun, it means uh, uh, the particulars of a place, as a verb, it refers to to talk, to speak to a person or to an assembly, okay? We are talking about a formal speaking, very formal, okay? Not like this, no, we, right here, we are having a kind of informal situation. So in this case, it does not apply. But when you have to stand up in front of people and, and talk to them very seriously, formal fashion, that's the verb address, okay? Now, let's continue. I actually, I just sent you guys a, a PDF file. In that PDF file that I sent to the WhatsApp group, you'll get exactly this info. Let me show it to you. Okay, we got reported speech. Okay, now, when do we use reported speech? What is it, reported speech? Sometimes someone says a sentence, like for example, I'm going to the cinema tonight. Later, maybe we want to tell someone else what the first person said, okay? The first person says, I'm going to the cinema tonight. But what about, I want to tell you about that. Oh, I tell you, oh, he said he was going to the cinema tonight. You listen, I am using another expression. Now, we don't need to change the tense, though. Probably we do need to change the person from I to she, for example. And we also may need to change words like my and your, because remember, we are talking about somebody else. As you know, often we can choose if we want to use that or not in English. It is in brackets here in the examples because to show that it's optional. It's exactly the same if you use that or if you don't use that, okay? It's optional. It's mostly a matter of style, okay? But if the reporting verb is in the past tense, then usually we change the tenses in the reported speech. Direct speech, I like ice cream. Reported speech, she said that she liked ice cream. She said she liked ice cream. You see, I can say it both ways and it's okay. Now notice, direct speech, I like ice cream. When we report that situation, we said she said she liked ice cream. If you notice, when the first person says, says the sentence, it's in present. 
But when you are reporting, of course, you are reporting something that somebody said in the past. So we use the verb, we change the main verb that in direct speech is in present, we change it into its past form. Okay? Questions up to here? Nope? Okay, let's continue. Present simple. I like ice cream. She said that she likes ice cream. Past simple. I bought a car. Here, we got two options. She said that she had bought a car or she said that she bought a car. You can use both ways. Both are correct. You gotta be careful because this, the first example is in if you see she had both, that's past perfect. And past perfect is also used when in the direct speech, the sentence is in present perfect. But let's continue. Let's watch some other examples. Okay, look. He said I'm watching television. He said that he was watching television. You see, the person said, I'm watching television. When you report, he said he was watching television. Look, present, past. Again, this person said, Mary is happy. Now, he said that Mary was happy. You see, the verb be changed into the past. He said, I want to buy a new computer. He said that he wanted to buy a new computer. He said he wanted to buy a new computer. He said, I'm going to buy a car. He said he was going to buy a car. You see, again, the auxiliary has changed into its past form. He said, it's calling here. I close the window. Now look, he said that it was called there because the first person said here, but now you are reporting. It was called there and that look will change for will and that he will close the window. He said, I've lost my watch. Look, present perfect. Do you remember what I told you at the beginning? He said that he had lost his watch. Present perfect turns into past perfect in the reported speech. He said, I didn't go to school on Thursday because there was a train strike. Now look, he said that he hadn't been to school that Thursday because there have been a train strike. Okay. If you see in this case, there are slight changes. Why? Because they are needed to make sense. My boss said, finish that project by Friday. My boss told me to finish that project that Friday, by Friday. You see? Told me to finish that project by Friday. You can say, Sell, tell, whichever of them is okay. In this case, look, is a question. This is very interesting because the question is, can you pass me the salt, please? He asked me to pass him the salt. Remember, we are reporting, okay? This is very important to remember. We are reporting. Questions? No. Nope. Anyway, if you get any I, question, yes, Nicholas. No, only uh, is necessary to review the information uh, nuevamente. Exactly, that is the one that I was gonna tell you. Uh, I send it to you in the WhatsApp group. It's the info. I send it as a PDF. I would like you to check it out, guys. 
take it out slowly, perhaps tonight, perhaps tomorrow along the day. And tomorrow we are going to open a little space so we can review it again, analyze it again. And if you got any extra questions, perhaps then we can give even more examples, okay? Actually reported speech is a little bit bigger, but I don't want to, to fool you, to stuff you with all the rules because in this moment, if you let me share with you, in this moment, uh, we are asked just to use this, look, uh, how to use a report of speech, affirmative statements. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise. Look, to express to a third person the words that somebody has said, we use reported speech. In reported speech, we express what somebody has said in our own words. In this case, we make some changes to what the person has said. After the reporting verb, it is possible, no mandatory, possible to use the word that. Example, expert says, expert say, credit cards offer protection from an identity theft that debit cards don't. Experts mention that credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. Now, look, when we use reported speech, the verb tense of the sentence often shifts back from simple present to simple past. Now, that's quite common because if you remember, uh, like I tell Nicolas, look, Nicolas, uh, uh, you know, Roxana is always wasting time in class, man. She's always busy in something else. And Nicolas, Tomorrow, perhaps, reports, tells Ileana, oh, the teacher said that Roxana wasted time. Now, in here, there's a little thing. You need to infer if the situation is still happening, still going on, or if it's not. Okay? Uh, just a joke, Roxana. Don't take it seriously. She's going to be mad at me. Okay. If you notice, this is like a, when we report something is when you are telling something that somebody else said. It's not a gossip. Let's not confuse it. Because you are reporting, you are reporting exactly what the other person said. The only changes you make are regarding the tense, the verb tense. Okay? That's the only change you make. Like, uh, okay, Nicolas, last night, he told me, look, teacher, I'm a little bit busy because uh, I am explaining some electricity problems to my son. Okay? And Ileana asked me, hey, teacher, what happened to Nicolas last night? And I tell her, oh, look, Nicholas told me that he was explaining some exercises to his son. You see, I just changed the tense of the verb because the moment when the sentence and the situation that the sentence expresses is already in the past. Okay? Now, uh, I always go to sleep around midnight. Okay, Amber is talking to Francisco and Amber tells, oh, the teacher says that, look, the teacher says, present, that he always goes to sleep at midnight. Why in present? Because the situation is still true in the present and it's a routine. In that case, we can express it in present, otherwise in past. You get it? Like uh, Ambar works as a salesperson. Ambar told me, she told me in the past that she works as a salesperson, she still works as that, okay? That's her job, that's what she does. 
Got it? Don't worry. If you don't quite get it, check the information, take notes if you want, and tomorrow, of course, I can explain you again. But it would be easier and better for you if you already check, if you check the material before the class. So that way it's going to be easier. You will get a clearer idea of what you understand and what you don't. But let's do an exercise, okay? It's very simple. I will send you to working groups, okay? And now I want to tell your classmates about your routine. When we come back, you are going to report to me about your classmate. So I advise you to take notes, at least of the verbs. Because remember, if you're going to be reporting, you're going to be using the past. Don't worry, I'm gonna be helping you. Don't get mad, I'm gonna be interrupting you, but it's in order for you to correct little mistakes that of course they happen, don't worry about it, okay? So I'm going to recreate the groups. You're going to be working in groups of three members. So you have the opportunity to practice with your classmates. Let me see. Let me just do a little something here. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. You got five minutes. Remember, you got to report to me when you come back. Okay. Hi. Hello. Is that the report of the speech? Yep. 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 Okay. It's it's easy. Actually, it's easy. Okay. What about my routine? But we are so sorry for interrupting, uh, Fisher. So we are going to. Uh, just express the simple present, right? And make the report speech. So we're going to set your, okay. she said. Tell me tell me a couple of, of activities that you do, Ileana. Well, in the mornings, first of all, it's I wake up and then I get off my bed and then I take a bath. Then okay. I, yeah. What did you do today? Uh, today? Well, in the morning, I took my siblings to their jobs, and that's the correct. Yeah, yeah? siblings. That's correct. Yeah. Siblings, okay. And then, how many did you in got? My, <laughs> only two. Uh, my okay. big brother and my little sister. Yeah. Okay. And on my way back to the office, there was a lot of traffic, so. Okay, stop, just a second. Look, Jose, uh, Ileana said that she took her siblings to their jobs in the morning, okay? You're going to report to me expressing what she did. Got it? Oh, got it, sure. Now, yes. Perfect. My children. And mm -hmm. that is my routine on Sundays and, and Saturdays. Okay. And what about today? What did you do today, Jacqueline? Uh, today, well, he's got to report to me what you did. <laughs> the man. But it's. I like got to the work 
in the morning because it's too fresh, the environment is too clear. I don't know why, but I like them. I like morning. I like to watch the sunset in the morning and well, my work is too hard today and and, 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 and sometimes I'm a workaholic uh, so I go to the lounge at 1 p.m. 1 o'clock and go go to the home around 6 p.m. When I get to home, I I have my dinner and after I go to, to the English classes. I sleep around uh, 11 o'clock p.m. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. I'm sorry. Okay. Excuse me. Where do you work? I work in the in one company. Its name is Administrador. Uh, no, she. She. Cuando todavía lo hace, she. I no sé. She, she, she told me she woke up at 5 a.m. every day. Oh, every no, day. Wait. Since wait, the stop. moment you, Roxana, right at the moment that you say every day you are expressing a routine. If you are expressing a routine, simple present. It's different if you tell me about today. Oh, she told me today. She told me that. Mm -hmm. She woke up at 5 a.m. today. You see, that's different. Mm -hmm. So in this case, if she told me, she... Que me dijo present, present perfect. Simple fast, been? my dear. No, 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 no. Simple fast. I can get it. You cannot? No. Okay. What is it that she told you? Tell me. She woke up at 5 a.m. every day, but Saturday okay. she woke up at 7 a.m. Okay, well, Ada told, Ada told me that she woke up at 7 a.m. last Saturday. Oh. Remember, it's, the difference is this, Roxana. If you're expressing the routine that happens every Saturday, that's different. You use simple present. Si usted me dice la rutina, algo que pasa todos los sábados, entonces usa el presente, no el pasado. Es distinto que usted me diga, ah, Ada se levantó el sábado pasado a las 7 de la mañana, que usted me diga, Ada se levanta todos los sábados a las 6 de la mañana. ¿Yo quiero? She wake up every day. Ajá. She wake up Desde el momento seven, que dice uh, every day, you're every saying day. a routine, simple present. If you express a, a specific moment in the past, simple past. Got it? Yes. It's so in simple, this case, right? she told me, no. <laughs> it's complex because it's my first time with that topic and I don't have the Is your what? Say again, Roxana? I usually use. But I don't use the rule. No, 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 no. Okay. Let me take a deep breath. Tengo memoria you, a corto plazo. 
you telling me that is the first time for you with this topic? Man, I gave it to you last module for four classes. Mm. And the previous module for three. Mm. I explained mm. it. You don't remember, perhaps, because I didn't explain it in a with a PowerPoint. Okay. It was just like talking, okay? But don't worry, you'll get it. Analyze the information, and if you got any extra question, let me know tomorrow, okay? I mean, don't stress over. Check it out first, and if you don't understand something, ask me directly. I'll help you. Okay. okay. No, don't worry, don't stress about it. Say it as you feel it, and I will help you if it's wrong. Okay? Okay. Obviously, I I look for something to eat for dinner. Uh, commonly, uh, frequently is oh, sorry. Uh, for example, pupusa. <laughs> yeah, there's not too much uh, some things to eat uh, uh, here. Oh, yeah. Just for your work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for work. Just propose and something like that. Where, uh, and I go back to my room at 7.30 p.m. and I just wait to, to the course. And I finished the day about 12, uh, sorry, about 11 p.m. I, I just turned off the cell phone or, or computer and I tried to, to rest. And that, that, uh, that is my, that, that's the way that I passed the days here in Chalatenango, but but when, when I stay in San Salvador, it's totally different because uh, always I try to, to do some exercise in the morning uh, about 6.30 a.m. And then I try to do oh, a lot the of same, things. The same as Maria Alejandra. She says she goes for a <laughs> yeah. run every day at 5 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> but in the car, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> She just told me that. She just told me that, yes. <laughs> that, that was really fun. I'm I sorry. I'm sorry, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> because my mother is very hungry when I don't stay punctual in her house. <laughs> <laughs> when I am not punctual. <laughs> when I'm not punctual. <laughs> so you run but I but by car, no, no on your feet. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're just waiting for your classmates to come and we will see. Okay, let's see. Eliana, tell me about your partner. 
okay. Um, basically, I have well, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six reports about him. And okay. first, tell me that, just a couple of them. Okay, he told me he start his, his shift at 6 a.m. Then okay. he told me uh, he made an electrical consumption report. Okay, cool. He told me uh, he finished his shift at 3 p.m. Okay, now remember, instead of telling me time after time, he told me, he told me, you said it just the first time, and then okay. after each one you get and, and, okay? Ah, okay, okay. So that way you don't sound repetitive, okay? Okay. And well, okay, well. then he, I don't know, told me again. Hey, that's fine, that's Sorry. fine, that's fine, don't worry. <laughs> that's uh, okay. He told me he re received, received uh -huh. some people to his house. Okay. Then he took his dinner about 7, 7 p.m. Okay, he and had then dinner. He just, he had his dinner, yeah. And then just, just wait to the, start, the class to start. For the class to start. To start, okay, the class to Remember, start. Remember, for the class to start. He waited for the class to start. Okay, perfect, thank you. You're Does welcome. You tell, tell me about one of your partners, please. Okay, I will report Jacqueline. Okay. Jacqueline said that she woke up at 4.30 a.m. Okay. She, she worked like auxiliary in one uh, a small a school. Oh, yeah. Um, so, well, no, 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 auxiliary. That's a TA, a teacher assistant. Okay. And then she finished uh, her job at noon. Okay. And then she back to her home to cook it to She her went children. back home. Oh, she went back home to cook to her children. For her children. Oh, for her children. Let me change, I will change. That's enough, thank you. I mean, you have been That's very, it. very, very specific. Yeah, thank you, oh, excellent. Well, perfect. It was cool, I mean, he's pretty specific. That's nice, I like that. Stephanie, hello, Stephanie. You're Sorry. here with me? Oh, yes. there you are. Sorry that I was in the room. Oh, with oh the connection problem. As well. Yeah, but uh, they they leave me that I there explain what I did on Wednesday. So maybe okay. I can do that back. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. They are going to talk to me about yourself. Don't worry. Thank you very much, Stefan. Okay, thank you. Let's see, uh, 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 Marcos, Marcos, you've been very quiet tonight. So please tell me about one of your classmates. Okay. Uh, she said she works from eight to five, Monday to Friday. Is that one? And, um, Heidi. Who? Heidi. Heidi. Okay, perfect. She tell said, me. Continue, she said, she said she works from eight to five, Monday to Friday, and in the weekend she has fun with her family. Okay, perfect. Well, she says so. We don't know, right? Perhaps she's sleeping all morning, you know, at home, relax. Right, Heidi? That's right, teacher. Okay, now, <laughs> Heidi, please tell me about Marcos. Okay. Um... Marco said that in the morning uh, he he starts software development 
and that okay. he works from that he works from from eight to five. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's see. Uh, um, Francisco, who was your partner? Teacher, uh, I uh, I don't uh, remember uh, uh, well, but uh, I uh, you were working with Liliana and Jose Rivas. Yes, uh, I uh, remember that Liliana said that uh, she uh, tomorrow uh, she uh, uh, going to. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, today uh, she bought a, a present for a little cousin. Oh, really? That's cool. It's, okay. It's, it's, That's it. It's, Perfect. Okay, Eliana bought. Okay. In this case, the reporter should have been Francisco. Eliana told me that she bought. A little present for her cousin, was it? Yeah, for my little cousin, yeah. A okay, little cousin, right? Excellent, excellent. Now let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Nicholas, tell me about your partner. Well, my partner is. Are Ramon and Stephanie. Okay, choose one. Uh, Stephanie, for example, uh, uh, the activity of, of on Wednesday are mm -hmm. is is uh, take the uh, walk if, before to 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 the job walk at the bus station and uh, travel to at your house and her house in, sorry her house our house her you said your uh, house yes her house her, her house thank you uh, her house and uh, in your uh, in her house uh, she uh, take a shower. I I think I think take a shower and prepare to prepare your hair hair dinner okay. hair dinner and uh, before uh, practice English practice English in your class in her okay. class. Excellent, excellent. Okay, thank. You. Okay, guys, just a second. Okay, uh, Roxana, I texted you. Heidi, I texted you also. And let me see. I need to get the final attendance because believe it or not, time flies. Well, time flies when we have fun. I don't know you guys, I had fun tonight. It was a very interesting class and we actually had a lot of work too. Let me get the final attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velázquez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Mendez Torres. I'm always here. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. 
Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Censor Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. I saw your message. Ramón Enrique Matas Escobar. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Thank you, Fernando. Appreciate it. Okay, okay, guys. Well, interesting class. Please, your activity for tomorrow is simple. Check out the, the file that I sent you at the end, the one of the presentation. Check it out, analyze it, and take notes if you need. Any doubt that you got, bring it tomorrow to the class. I will gladly help you out, okay? I know that the topic is kind of tricky, so take it easy. Watch it slowly, take your time, and let me know tomorrow. Have a good night. Enjoy it. See you tomorrow. Thank good you, night. Teacher. Good night, everybody. Enjoy yeah. it too. Good night. Bye. Everybody. Bye. 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 Good night. It, it was a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Same here. Same here. Thank you and sorry, teacher. No problem, no problem, no worries. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. See I you. hope. Uh, I call with you. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Roxana, Roxane, Roxane, Roxane. What am I gonna Hello. do with you? I'm not sure. Oh, me neither. Okay, hold on. But give me just a second. Let's see. Just a second, just a second. This gets interesting once in a while. I got something for you that I need you to check out. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I love that, that the motion. You are so excited when I tell you, look, I got more info for you to practice English. You get like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know that's it. cool. Come on, you're <laughs> killing me here. Why? No. Tell I'm me, sorry. how was the gym? No, 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 I'm just kidding. Well, How's the gym? But I think that it, it is working. It's well, working? Yeah. Yeah, remember that in your case, as in my case, going to the gym is not just about doing exercises. It's like mm, changing the environment, stress, getting rid of some stress, no? Yes. And I need to organize my schedule because I have my work, I have my English class, and I have a lot of homework from my yeah. son. Tell me about it. I mean, sometimes, believe it or not, uh, when I connect to the class, I mean, it's like 10 minutes after I came, I'm coming from the gym. I just come from the gym, getting the shower, get dressed and come here to connect. I understand. But uh, uh, I need to. Otherwise, I mean, if I didn't go, the stress will be killing me now. I and, think and the you same. Know, and you know the, 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 the pace of life that I have. I mean, every day on the move from place to place, I do need it. 
Otherwise, I will be like, man. Yeah, you need to change your environment and yeah. maybe talk with different people. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it, it's helpful, you know, to go and, and watch different people. Yeah, In my case, my the, the gym is, is to leader. So oh. I can talk with uh, a lot of people. But oh, I, I went with my best friend. The, the one where I go to is also pretty small. But you know what? I actually like it like that. I don't yeah. like big places. I mean, crowds, very large crowds get me anxious. I mean, that's yes, why I hate, I hate going to the, to the mall, uh, like for Christmas and stuff, man, I get like this. I hate the persons. Yeah, I hate crowds. I mean, when there's a lot of people, man, I get like, Ugh. Yes. I wanna get out of here. That happens to me a lot. That's why I would never go to the stadium. Yeah, me too. But in my case, uh, I think that the next month I will change the gym. Oh, really? Yeah. Where you gonna go? Yeah, I will. Uh, to I will go to Bifit, maybe in Plaza Mundo. Oh yeah, sure. Then I got. You. Yeah, because you know it's complex in my case because uh, I need to move to my house, friends. No, my friend's house. house. To my friend's house, and I go to the gym, but it's in another um, neighborhood. Yeah, neighborhood. So it's complex because I am a new person in that neighborhood. So I prefer go mm. to the Bifit because it's safe. You know. Okay, where did you carry me to? What? Esta, eh, it's in, no, sí, Sierra Morena, Sierra. near to Ooh. Las Villas. So be I prefer change. Yeah, be careful, be careful. Okay. So look, always uh, I visit. Yeah. I visit the gym with my friend because she lives close. Close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I need to change. Now in my case, the gym is one, two, three, four blocks from here. Nice. Yeah, it is. It's cool. Pretty and cool. you pay? Uh, I pay on a daily basis. Okay. A, do a dollar, the session. Nice. And and the the and the the instructor is there always telling me what to do, how to do it. Did you receive a routine? If I want, he creates a routine for me every day. Oh, okay. Depending on what I'm gonna work. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. he is the one who helped me uh, get back the 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 most of the movements. Of my hand. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. That's yeah. why I love that gym. Yeah, I I, I love that gym, but because uh, I I don't uh, need to talk with a lot of person, but I prefer safe. Yeah, of course. I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Look. I just sent you a, a, an address to your WhatsApp. Check it out. You got it? Yes. Okay, give me just a little second. Eso son subtitulados. No, why do you need that? Come on. If you got any it's question, easy. if if it any of them gives you problem, let me know. I will be here to help you, okay? Okay. As usual, I am here to help you. You never ask, but I'm here to help you, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, check them out. They're going to be helpful for you. And go to sleep, you look. 
ways yes, that you look know. like tired. Yeah, going to the gym sometimes leaves you like that. Yes. But it's relaxing. Yes, it's, you know, it's more for uh, healthy. Yeah, mm -hmm. for health. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah in my case, time. In my in my case is for health. I mean, my my big belly doesn't have nothing to do. La panza no tiene nada que ver. It's just for health. Y salud mental más que otra cosa, pero. Yeah, of course, that's mandatory. Hey, nice talking to you. Nice having you here in, again in the group. Don't give up. Okay, don't give up. Don't quit. Continue. Okay. It's okay. gonna be good for you. I will. Thank you. See ya. Take care. See you. Have a good night. Okay, and that's it for tonight.